I'm about to impulsively do the big chop. rough hey y'all welcome to wind down with charnay and if y'all can't tell today is a hair day because y'all see how i'm looking right now like girl you looking real scary anyway today i am dyeing my hair back to black and before you ask yes i'm dyeing my hair again this is my head i will dye it how many times i want to if i end up bald head that's on me that's what they make wigs for so don't come at me in the comments talking about why you're dying your hair again, okay? Now that we passed that, let me just let y'all know, I'm tired of the burgundy. I want long goddess braids, but I do not want long burgundy goddess braids. I feel like braid hairstyles look better with black. So, here we are. This is part one. Part one is me dying my hair from red, as y'all can see. To black part two gonna be me doing an actual style. So yes, I'm breaking this up into two videos. Sorry to tell you. Okay, I need the content, so that's what we're doing. Anyway, I'm using a Revlon Color Silk Beautiful Color in the shade black. It's number ten. I don't know why I never want to focus. But I got three boxes. I'm gonna use two on my head and then one is for a wig that I'm gonna use for the curly pieces. The wig I'm using for the curly pieces, it had highlights in it and my sister tried to dye it black but it turned green. So right now it's sitting in a red dye to get rid of the green so I can dye it black. Yeah. It's a lot going on and it is 10.02, 10.02 p.m. And I'm just starting this, but I'm gonna be up all night because I just woke up at like six o'clock. So I only been up like four hours today. I am gonna put a drop of red in it. So in case I got like blonde, y'all see the little blonde pieces kind of in the front. I don't want them to turn green. So I am gonna put a little bit of red in it. And by the way, red cancels out green. Just to let y'all know, learn y'all color theory. Why do I never have scissors in the bathroom? Like. It's very black like hopefully there's no red spots. It looks very saturated, but you never know until you wash it out. So We're gonna see Okay, I just rinsed it out now. I put a conditioner as y'all can see I still got scraggly ends. Let me go closer. I still got these scraggly ends. So I'm about to impulsively do the big chop. So y'all gonna see it in real time me doing the big chop Right now, let me go get the scissors. I hope I don't regret this, y'all. Okay. That probably wasn't even enough. Let me section this off. My pole hair haven't got no um treatment in a while. It's already looking like I did the big chop. Cause my hair, like this roots part is natural again. So, I mean, I've been natural. I didn't get a perm or nothing, but I damaged my hair a lot. So as y'all could tell in the previous clips, so I might as well just do the chop. This one kind of already gone like, you can see it's mostly all curly. So I'm gonna just take a little 
the little earrings. I really forgot how it was to have an afro. Okay, <laughs> guys, this is how it turned out. I look like a chia pet, but it's okay. We on a healthy. Ooh, let me cut that. But we on a we on a healthy hair journey. So if y'all got some natural hair products, please drop them in the comments. Y'all ain't gonna never see me wear my hair like this because um, I wanted to grow out a little more before I wear it. I might do the puff or something, but the puff ain't big enough. So, this y'all sneak peek. But anyways, that's the end of this video. Make sure y'all check out part two where I actually do the hairstyle. Peace.